Okay, greetings YouTube land. I am Faligar. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity. Uh, it is uh, September 28th, 2017. The time is 4.54 p.m. You know, uh, I really should eat before I even begin this. Uh, I haven't eaten all day, but I just, I can't find any food. <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't know. Um, I have my coffee though, so that's good. Um... Again, there's that Hobbit music again. I'll play for a while and then uh, I'll try to dig around for something. Um, okay, uh, so last episode, um, I took a rest uh, and I, I signed um, Aloth to some mission. It was like uh, people committing suicides. Yeah, the Night Mirror and Aloth is assigned. It still says one turns, but I, since I rested, there shouldn't be that much more longer to go for this, right? And four days, skeletons are gonna attack uh, Cade Nua. And, um. Okay, and, um. What else? I, I met with some, uh, some messenger saying that, uh. Uh, someone is challenging my, I guess my my claim on Cadenua, so I have to go back to Defiance Bay. But and I never looked up what the hell Auto Resolve and Manual Resolve is. Great. I'm gonna just go ahead and see what this does. Pay debt. You have accrued a debt due to damage to the stronghold. You won't receive any income from taxes until it is paid. What is that? You have accrued a debt due to damage to the stronghold. How did it get damaged? You won't receive any income from taxes until it is paid. Fine, I'll pay it. I, I don't understand what that was, but... Security reports that skeletons will attack the stronghold in five days. Skeletons attack the stronghold? Okay, maybe next time auto-resolve is not a good thing. Okay, apparently that's resolved, but All right then. I'm not sure I like that resolution. It was unsatisfactory to me, but Um So what is up with Aloth? I'm down a man. How much more to go? Finished in one day. Not sure I completely understand this, but if I recall him, that might. Uh, why don't we go ahead and try to find that merchant? Where would he be though? Inside the building or out? Um I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. That would be us. How does it go? 
However, that Hobbit music goes. Frodo Baggins. Looks like um, like a place to hold like plays or like like a coliseum almost. Spectators can watch people fight. Where the fuck is my uh, merchant? Oh, this is. Uh, What is this? It would take you one hour to complete your journey from Cade Noah to the Endless... No. Okay, I, I won't do that yet. Well, maybe it was telling me to pick my party, right? Okay, so I don't know where my merchant is merchant stalls purchasing the merchant stalls will allow for a merchant to sell general goods in your guild hall the guild hall is up here I saw no merchant Oh, is this um Okay. Ah, right, here we go. Would this be my merchant? Well, the place doesn't seem like it's... Okay, that's... that's very cool. Greetings. Gods keep you. Greetings, my lord. Fancy a new blade, maybe an axe? I have plenty here to take the fancy of any man of action, or perhaps some ingredients and spices for the road. The oils and tinctures for the ailing man, too. Want to have a look? Yes. Uh, I can just get rid of some crap. Uh huh. It's fine, dagger. Fine rapier. A pry bar. Effective prying open certain types of containers, but not especially useful on doors due to, uh, to due to the uneven and narrow distribution of its leverage. Um, lighter door. To get rid of. Okay, this. Get rid of that. Oh, okay. This is. Um, 
burning lash. Okay, that's like a, a unique. This is just a regular dagger. Scepter. Uh, how do I open my... Ah, okay, here we go. Just a regular pistol. Okay, um, I guess I'll still hold on to that, just have slightly longer range. Okay. Oh, you have a transaction pending? Do I? Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'll accrue 545 gold. How do I, um, do I just do this? Should put me over 4k gold. Okay, did it. Okay. So I got rid of some junk. Let's go ahead and save that. Um, okay, these are for like some saving throws. Who has low saving throws? Fortitude, Reflex, and Quill. Okay, they all seem to have pretty comfortable... Ooh. Little low reflexes. Shigani seems like she'd have like really low, but... It's actually not so bad. I mean, she keeps going down. Okay, well, Durance could probably use something like this. Okay. Uh... I think I could get rid of these ones, but I'll still...
stick them in the uh, stash. Okay. This one I can get rid of, I believe. Okay, let me... Gods keep you. Yes, I need your services once more. Some things I realize I don't need. Fine robes. Hmm. Oh, I do need to be quick. Major mall. Fine mail armor. Mm -hmm. This might be better. Kana Chinta. So I'm not sure. <coughs> hmm. Okay, maybe. So maybe this is better. I don't slow me down so much. My recovery. And the damage reduction is more. Okay. Nice. Eight. Oh, wonder why. Reduction corrode. Now it becomes crush. I don't quite get that. I really do not get that. Okay, well, anyways. Spells here. Only wizards can learn grimoire, grimoire spells. Okay, here we go. So I can add some things. Oh, Aloth is not here. Causes the caster to appear visually displaced. I'll hold on from this for now. So Aloth returns. Okay, thank you for thy services. I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. Well, I should speak to, uh... What? 
Uh, Durant, right? No AI script selected. Talk to Durant. Okay. Hey, Durant. And what must you say now? I had questions I wanted to ask you. I need you to leave. Never mind. Let's be going. Yes. I had questions for thee. If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skidding your knuckles on the wrong door. I saw something strange. I was sitting by the fire and I saw a great light from your staff. Why were you supposed to meet? Or why were we supposed to meet? I wanted to ask about the region and its history. Tell me about Magran. Uh, yes. Um, something odd. When, we, when I awoke uh, earlier today, I saw you were sitting by the fire. And there was a great light coming out of your staff, emanating from thy staff. Tell me what you saw. Durant is silent, staring at me, locking gazes. It was a flash, like an explosion, and a rushing of air, incredibly bright. It is the light of the God Hammer you saw. Aha! Light of the God Hammer. Uh, pardon? It was a weapon of Deerwood's people, a symbol of their independence. It saved the Deerwood. What dost thou know about it, this God Hammer? It brought the Saints' War to an end, knocked a god from his perch. There are few that would deny Aeothis overstepped. The God Hammer reminded Aeothis of it. Mm hmm. Aha. So kind of brought them down a notch or two. You saw its light because I helped shape it, give it life, and release it into the world. Once seen, its glory is almost too bright to be believed, and too bright to be forgotten. Thou hast helped build the God Hammer? There were twelve of us. We fashioned the weapon, drafted plans for it, prayed for guidance at Ashfall. And it came to me there. Each of us were given a staff made from the forest of black trees around us, glowing with embers and fire far greater than this branch you see now. Really? So this staff was cut from part of that black tree? It felt as if the staff was Margren's own finger, guiding my hand, guiding the other eleven. The shadows of the Twelve who had come to stand on the bridge to stop Aethys. Now, real quick, I forgot what time I started this. I think I said it was like 4... 4.45, so I'll play until, I guess, like another half hour more. It felt as if the staff was Magrin's own finger, guiding my hand, guiding the other Eleven. The shadows of the Twelve who would come to stand on the bridge to stop Aethys. So a bright, a dozen bright circles emerging from your staff as well. Tell me about these shadows of the Twelve. Even in that stand, there was a ritual to it. For the Twelve that stood on the bridge, there were a dozen shadows cast, a dozen faithful of Margaret, her fiercest supporters and shapers of the God Hammer. Durant rests the staff in front of him and the flame atop it curls for a moment, uh, the light flaring slightly. It splits into a ring of flames, one after the other, until a dozen is met. As twelve held Aethys hmm. fast, we twelve unleashed our prayers and let the god have a fall. Then it blossoms brightly once and resumes its candle intensity. In the aftermath, the shadows seem sharper in the vicinity, as if they have edges, and you blink to clear your vision. Durant is still staring at the tiny candle-like flame intently. Wow. Shadows cast by the fire of the God Hammer, perhaps. We share their fate as well in time. Now the spine of the Deerwood is marked by the God Hammer. Marked by Margaret. Durant frowns and moves his gaze from the staff. What dost thou mean, share their fates? Not all deaths come with stilled breath and stilled heart. 
or other stilled passions beneath the waste. Some deaths uh. come from silence. Or other stilled passions beneath the waste. The connection we once shared with Margaret. After the light of the Godhammer, it was not the same. It was as if we'd lost our senses, and sense of purpose as well. Instead of victory, being welcomed, there was silence, within and without. Ah, uh -huh, you lost your connection. Basically, it's like uh, Magren forsaken you, or you guys. Not many can claim to have killed a god. It is less a heroic tale than you would think. And such a death, it changed our faith. All faiths, I expect. Doubt followed, and the world changed. I do not believe Margren was pleased by what we had done. Why is that? The world is broken. The wheel still. There is sickness in the world's heart. Perhaps the price of crossing a god. Crossing two gods. Even as Margaret shaped our hands, perhaps we carried her will farther than was allowed. Just as wide wind. Saint wide wind. Mortal arrogance to match mortal arrogance. Mortal arrogance to match mortal arrogance. Crossing two guards, two gods, even as Magrin shaped our hands, perhaps we carried her will farther than was allowed. Just as Wadwin, Wadwin did, Saint Wadwin, mortal arrogance to match mortal arrogance. Okay, okay. Yet if the world had changed, then I sought to change with it. If I had forgotten some of Magrin's teachings, I would find them again. I would make her see me again. What did thou do? I remembered Margaret's teachings. Her reminders on the flesh were more important than the death of a vessel. I wondered if killing Aethys, if that had simply set him free, had it allowed him to escape his punishment and be taken on the wheel? Like a mortal? If that simply s had set him free, and I wondered if King Ethos had it allowed him to escape his punishment and be taken on the wheel, Durant's voice takes an odd upturn. For once, it feels like he's genuinely asking a question. Like a mortal? Or like a mortal? He shakes his head. Aha! Uh -huh. So instead of like, um, sounding like, uh, what are they called? Um, uh, what, what's the word? Um, rhetorical, right? But this is no. Now he's like genuinely asking, like a mortal. As uh -huh. I stepped from the now blessed Godhammer Bridge, I thought of Ashfall. I thought of the War of Black Trees. Wondered if I needed to be burned to find myself again. That is Margaret at her heart. At least that is my hope. These are the doubts that befall me. What has happened when thou return to Ashfall? The road to Ashfall is long. Gives one time to think. If you think long enough, you do not go home. I hmm. left without telling anyone, with only the robes I wore at Halgot, my staff, and my name, which is long buried. I see. Of my fellow eleven craftsmen, disciples, I know not what happened to them, if they suffered the same doubt as I did. But it was underserved. It was wrong. We had done all that. Who oh, had asked? Grab victory from defeat and... and You feel as if your god has betrayed you? Do you feel as if you betrayed your god? Uh... Dost thou feel as if you betrayed your god? There is something 
about being used and cast aside. Perhaps Wide Wen himself felt it. There at the end, when the hammer struck. To be the proof that your god is hollow as the vessel it inhabits. Here at the end, when the hammer struck. To be the proof that your god is hollow as the vessel is it inhabits. I tried to find purpose and avoided all contact with other Magranic priests, did not seek the walls of Ashfall, and sought to make amends to my god through actions. I joined with the Purges for a time, and not long after came the first signs of the Hollowborn. So many crimes, <clears throat> trespasses, violations, the salvation. Animancers were another sickness born of the Saints' War. A relapse of innovation, of desperation to heal what we had caused. All seemed worse than before the bridge, not better. And as years passed, the world became even worse still for the victory. What Magdalene wanted either. Now I see why you call your goddess a whore. She jilted you, and you still pine for her. You committed atrocities, and your goddess has shut you out for it, exactly what you deserve. Doesn't sound like your goddess will ever forgive you. It would seem my grin's silence is your trial. What well, my grin wanted either. Yeah. Perhaps the purges weren't what my grin wanted either. Right. Sweet sweat collects in the sooty, sooty creases of his forehead and runs down his ruddy cheeks. It trips from the tip of his nose. His mouth moves, but his utterance makes no sound. He is, for once, at a loss. Feeling your gaze, he quickly composes himself, wiping his forehead with the back of his of a dirty hand. Ugh. Hmm? His voice. Worship the whims of some fickle bitch, and you'll never be more than dirt beneath her feet. Worship what she worships, on the other hand. Take her fire for your own, and her esteem comes on its own. Of course, by that time, you no longer need it. Trial and transformation, sure as Durance taught. Durance glares at you, and staring into his eyes gives you the feeling of peering over the edge of a great cliff. Hmm. You think to put the coals to my feet? But what's burned once will never burn again. These talks are your trial, Roger. You cannot deflect the truth to one who has already been purified by it. Fair enough. Continue to get to know Durance. Okay. Certainly. Oh. Okay. Is she back yet? Done with his investigation. Okay, why don't... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go back down here. Just to see... One hour, okay, fine. Oh, I've been down here before, I, I know, but... Just to kill some time, so Aloth will be done with his investigation. Wow, yeah. Okay. I should save that. Okay. Yeah, there's really nothing here. Okay. Let us just go.
I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. Okay, looks like Aloth is just gonna be busy. So he's still busy. Okay, I'll um, just go. I think who's gonna to meet in the first fires, is it? Um, hold on. Messenger, a call to court. First fires district, okay. Go ahead and just take care of that. Okay. Oh boy. And he's still not done. One turns. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Because 22 hours went by and uh... Is there like a tutorial thing? I think, I think there was. Okay, it's not fair. I thought there was a tutorial. Keeping an eye out. I recalled him. Okay, hold on. Let me reload that. I'm sorry about this. Maybe if I recall him while I'm still there, um, he's like already complete, and he'll report back to me. I'm hoping that's how that a few works. repairs, and this keep will be a sight to see. Okay. then how may I help Indeed. I really don't understand what <sighs> I I don't get it. Um I don't get it. I better not recall him because nothing, uh, 
nothing popped up. I didn't get any, uh, any message about it being completed. Remaining. It's still saying that there's one turn remaining. Can I'm I, sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. Other people? Like safe. Farewell. Busy with the night mirror. Ready, watcher. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, she, he's still busy with that. Of course. Let's just go ahead and take care of uh, the quest and the first fires because I'm just not getting it. Okay. So he'll have to be done when uh, this gets resolved. It better be. Ducal Palace. a shrine to Margaret as well. Her clergy belongs there. Hmm. Speak with Chancellor Warren at the Hall of Records inside the palace. Sure thing. Taxes collected. Lost. The nightmare completed. Aloth returns to the stronghold with 656. Okay, here we go. 656 experience points. Nightmare fragment. Okay. Wow, nice. This small piece of tin is all that you retained of the disturbing nightmare. An Angwathian artifact that was holding. Glanfathen's in Thrall in the southwest corner of Ur Glanfath. After you helped destroy the mirror, a mysterious group of Orlans arrived and whisked the remains away, except for the fragment you happen to be standing on. Even this tiny portion of the mirror still exerts a strong pull on your mind each time you gaze into it. Frightened. Wow, so it does these effects. So I like that. With the aid of a secretive Orland cipher, Aloth was able to locate the so-called Night Mirror in a remote part of southwestern Ur Glanfar. Unexpectedly, the Night Mirror was holding several Glanfarthans in thrall, all of whom were willing to kill to protect the mirror. In a protracted battle, Aloth and the cipher were able to shatter the mirror and break the spell over the remaining thralls. As soon as the dust had settled, some of the cipher's associates, associates arrived apparently agents of some unknown organization. The Orlin cordially apologized to Aloth, but expl explained that the remnants of the Night Mirror had to be taken away for safekeeping. He was so proud of how things seemed to turn out that he didn't notice Aloth was standing on a piece of the mirror through the entire speech. Naturally, Aloth brought it back to Kainua as a memento. Very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So Aloth will not be getting the experience and that's okay I guess. Okay. Uh speak to what do I speak to? Speak to speak with Chancellor Warren, okay. The Hall of Records. Where would the Hall of Records be? It looks like it would be 
down over here. Just a car. Only people with official invitations are allowed to observe the Animancy hearings. Where's that lead? Hall of Records. Oh. Shrine of Magarin. Okay, so I was heading in the right direction. Chancellor. Thank you for coming, Felidar. I've been trying to track you down for some time. This is Marshal uh, Forwin, Earl Badamar's military advisor. He will serve as a witness for these proceedings. He gestures at the man next to him. Uh -huh. Well met, Road Warden. Your reputation precedes you. I admit you've created a bit of stir throughout the nobility with your reclamation of uh, Kainua. Most are still not sure what to think of you. Okay, go on. The legitimacy of your claim to Kaidnua is in question. Earl Badamar has issued a ruling on the matter. I trust the Earl to make a fair judgment. Kaidnua was abandoned for over a century, and I've claimed the land through strength of arms. My claim is legitimate. Any who challenge my claim will face my wrath. Okay. Uh, yeah, this sounds fair. If there were no other claimants, you would be correct. Unfortunately, this is not the case. All will be made clear once Lord Gathman arrives. Do you have any questions for me while we wait? Tell me about Earl Batamar. What do you know of Gathbin? Do you know which way Earl Batamar has ruled? What was that about Road Warden? Now, what dost thou know of Gathbin? Well, I've met him once before, or met met him but once. It was ample time to determine the character of Lord Arladur Gathbin, or lack thereof. Oh, lack of character. He is descendant from an old Adiran line that predates the War of Defiance. His great father, Ranig Gathbin, was the Earl of Yinwood during the war, that is, until he was stripped of his lands and driven from the Deerwood. Yenwood? When the Deerwood was a mere colony of Edir, it was divided into nine earldoms. When the Edirans were defeated and ultimately driven out, two of the earldoms were absorbed and borders were adjusted. The Yenwood was one such earldom. The Grasp is now the largest of the seven earldoms after it consumed the pre-war earldom of Yenwood. It encompasses notable settlements such as New Hiomar, Garwin's Grasp, Gilded Vale, and of course, Kaidnua. Okay, fine. Of course. Well, tell me about Earl Bad Badamar. Earl Badamar comes from an esteemed line of lords that rose to prominence after the War of Defiance. Some 150 years ago, The, Deer, the Deerwood consists of seven earldoms. Badamar governed a northern earldom known as the Grasp. As to current, the current Badamar, he is as fine a man as I know. It is an honor to serve with him. That's all I need to know. Okay, that's all would be made clear once Lord Gathbin arrives. Um, nah, I do not. Your timing is impeccable. Here comes Lord Gathbin now. Oh boy, you better not take my my stronghold away from me. There will be hell to pay. An opulently dressed man strides towards the Chancellor. He's sandy hair trailing him like a banner caught in a light breeze. Boot heels echoing throughout the hall. An elven woman with cropped hair dressed in dark glinting mail shadows his steps before taking position alongside him. She watches you unabashedly. Excuse me, taking your measure. Let's move past this formality as quickly as possible. I have other matters to attend to. It is well known that Kaidnua belongs to me by right. Tis my noble right! 
And where's this uh, pretender? Show me the fool that thinks to steal my land. Where is this low-born wretch? Warren clears his throat and glances at you. This man here? This is the Lord of Ted Nua? I thought he was just another servant, perhaps a valet or a porter. Wait, you son! Raise your hand. Everyone who owns their own key, raise a hand. Go on. Don't be shy. Can we get on with this, please? Aristocrat. Aristocrat. Not met. Oh, man. Okay, I don't want to sound like a... Can we get on with this, please? Warren breaks the seal on this girl and unfurls it. Regarding the matter of the Gathbin claim on Cade Noir, Earl Badamar finds that Gathbin claims... Gathbin claim was never relinquished. By law, Cade Noir is a rightful property of the Gathbin family. I knew it! Gathbin smirks at you triumphantly. I'm not yet finished reading, my lord. Gathbin rolls his eyes and motions for the Chancellor to continue. However, the Earl recognizes Felagar's part in reclaiming Cade Noir, a sire that has stood abandoned oh I'm sorry a site that has stood abandoned and even some would say cursed for over a century before Cade Nua is returned to the Gathbin family the Earl has decreed that Lord Gathbin will provide compensation in the form of absolutely not Gathbin folds his arms a defiant scowl on his face my lord Warren raises his eyebrows The amount is quite reasonable and a requirement for your land to be returned to you. If you'll just follow me to finish, I'll not pay a single copper to this miscreant for my ancestral land. Do you think I'm blind to the Earl's motives? Lackey? He thinks he can send a message with this insult? I have a message you can send that son of a whore. Gathbin raises an open hand as the Chancellor shrinks from him, arms raised in, def in defense. Punch Gathbin. Grab Gathbin's arm. Do nothing. Uh, yeah, I'll... Keep your hands off me, you you peasant! Gathbin yanks his arm free of your hand and steps back. The elven weapon deftly draws a pistol from her thick leather belt. Her eyes widen in anticipation. Oh, ho, ho, ho. My lords, please, th there's no need for violence. Lord Gathbin holds your gaze for several heartbeats, his eyes burning with hatred. I'll be coming for what's mine. Court on it. Or count on it. Come, Captain Emery. We're leaving. Oh, I sense a war. He sneers defiantly before storming down the hall. The captain lowers her pistol and gives a smirking shrug before following her employer. Oh boy, that could have gone better. I wish I had those aristocrat points. Well, I can't say that Gathbin's reaction was entirely unexpected, though no fault of your own. I'm afraid you've made a powerful enemy. I've dealt with worse. He did seem a little upset, didn't he? Yeah, I've, I've dealt with much worse. I hope you're right, Warren smiles thinly. In any case, Ked Nua now officially belongs to you since Lord Gathman has rejected the Earl's decree. His hands, he hands you a deep blue scepter which looks to have been carved entirely out of sapphire. Wow! Here, this belongs to you. Oh, this belonged to one of the old lords of Ked Nua. By right, it's yours now. You have gained an item. Uh, guard Highway Steens added to inventory. Give a thousand copper. Have this sent to Lord Gathbin as a token of friendship. Oh my god. Tell Gathbin if I catch him or any of his people on my land, they'll be executed. This sounds like an insult to him. Please extend an invitation to Lord Gathbin to feast with me within the halls of Cade Nua. There's no need for us to be enemies. I'm done here. Um... Yeah, I'll... Uh, who is it? Uh, let he who is without sin cast the first stone? Kind of thing? Or, uh, or maybe that, that one doesn't really apply. I think it's like... Um, like turn the other cheek kind of thing here. So, please, extend an invitation to Lord Gathbin to feast with me within the halls of Cade Nua. There is no need for us to be enemies. That is a generous offer, and I'll make sure it reaches Lord Gathbin. Thank you. I thank you. 
Uh, it was a pleasure to finally meet you, my lord. Warren bows. Perhaps we'll speak again under more pleasant circumstances. Indeed, indeed. I look forward to it. Uh, the invitation extends to thee as well. Farewell, Felagar. The marshal nods at you and leaves. Okay, this is a great pl pl uh, place to break. Speak with the chancellor. Call to court. Okay. Updated. Uh, Lord Gathbin rejected the Earl of Yenwood's decree, and Cade Newell remains in my possession. Something tells me that Lord Gathbin isn't done with me yet. I should remain on my guard. Oh, God. Okay. Um, so that's good. I shall end it here. And continue with this next time. Save. And also, quick save. And that'd be it. So, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know there isn't a lot of action. This is a slow burn RPG, which is uh, really how I love them. Uh, full of story. I know with... Uh, uh, the rich story does remind me of uh, like Witcher 3 in many ways how it's like there's a lot of history lore and just storytelling involved although with Witcher 3 there's a, a good amount of action to be had as well and the action obviously is different than this this one's more like turn-based strategic uh, and placement of, of your characters and everything which I absolutely love it's party based for one uh, whereas Witcher you're just um, uh, following the exploits of uh, Geralt and you know it's you're playing that character it's he's mostly you know it's just one you know for the most part you also sometimes switch to like siri right but um so two different kinds of play styles and kind of different uh types of um of rpg but i'd say both have pretty much equal amounts of like lore and depth and then again uh don't turn your nose up to uh to uh skyrim because that has a lot of lore as well so um I just love them all, you know, Bethesda, Obsidian, and now, you know, CG, uh, not CG, uh, CD Project Red, right? With the Witcher series, I love them. Uh, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Hopefully, next episode, we'll get into some action, right? But I can't promise anything. Uh, yeah, this is a nice uh, record haul. Love it. And I have to remember to go back to uh, Cade Nua and uh, pick up uh, uh, Aloth. Farewell. Thank mm -hmm. you.